and welcome to the show. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk Nutrition. Glad you could. Hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> Pardon me, wherever and however you may be listening or watching the show, and whatever you may be doing. A uh, lot going on in the news today, and so we're gonna, we'll get to it. Uh, the stories are varied, and then we have our guest, as usual. Uh, today, uh, we have a new guest, and uh, we'll introduce him at the bottom of the hour. And from Flora, pretty good company. So, um, <laughs> the stories are varied, as you'll see, and um, we'll see what we can learn from them uh, that may, sometimes uh, when I report on these stories, uh, I'm doing it, it doesn't necessarily translate into a, uh, a direct benefit for somebody, you know, something that you can do or some therapy you can adopt or, or whatever, but it just, oftentimes they just provide insight as to what's going on in the world of health and wellness and medicine, uh, in particular the science. What are the concerns of our society regarding our health and wellness and well-being? And there, Lord knows, there's quite a few. We're always inviting you to uh, join in the conversation uh, you are, after all, why we show up here every day, and uh, we, we love it when you participate. And let us know how you're reacting to uh, whatever we're talking about, your own experience, your own story. Um, I find those oftentimes to be um, useful, important, and uh, I, I, I do want to know what you're thinking, feeling, and doing regarding your health. Uh, there are many people that listen that have health challenges and are trying to figure things out, what to do, what not to do. Um, many are healthy and they're, they're just trying to learn more and do better. And there's all variations of that. So the audience is varied um, in that regard and also demographically. So we have a, a rich resource there and we love to draw upon it. Here's how to make contact with the show. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Don't forget Dr. Garko's personal email is drgarko at letstalknutrition.com. Follow us, like us, and share us on Facebook at Let's Talk Nutrition, on Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition, and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Let's Talk Nutrition on YouTube, where we have over 70,000 views, 1,200 videos, and they're archived and put up there with closed captioning. I've been reporting over the past year or so on vaping and this is a phenomenon that has uh, taken hold uh, in the culture not only ours but others and it has especially uh, influenced the um, young young people teenagers and young adults and uh, I haven't seen anything about adolescents but teenagers for sure college students and as I say young adults and there's been a lot of concern about vaping. Uh, some of these instruments that are used to, for vaping have blown up in people's faces and all kinds of health issues uh, associated, not all kinds, but accidents with the instruments used for vaping, as well as concerns about uh, vaping causing other kinds of health issues, you know, diseasing your lungs and whatnot. Well, the FDA has con continually been on this and been has tried to inform the public about it. And now what they're doing is apparently they thought it over and they said, you know, uh, we're going to have to do something more. And what they're doing now, the FDA is releasing its first anti-vaping television ads it started yesterday and they're targeting teens as I as I was alluding to as part of its quote the real cost close quote youth e-cigarette prevention campaign uh, a statement said the ads will run on ESPN of course which is the sports network teen Nick which I've never watched, CW and MTV. What's CW, Katie? I think it's like a local, 
I think it has like Modern Family. It's just like a a local channel, CW44. It's a it's a Hearst it's a Hearst Television. Oh yeah, see, I didn't. Hearst, know Tele- what do they program there? What is what's the programming? You either it's like you know. sitcoms and stuff, right? Yeah, it's mostly sitcoms, and then they do some local stuff. The young people gravitate to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so MTV, they're still around, I guess. <laughs> they don't <laughs> they don't do many. Uh, t- um, <laughs> They don't do many videos anymore, right? No. No, mostly like Teen Mom and things like that. Yeah, that more. And uh, these are sites with, these are platforms with, mu- they're music sites. And social. these are social media platforms. The ads titled um, Magic features street magician Julius Den. I don't know who he is. I do. He's amazing. Really? I don't know who that is. Uh, turning teens vapes into cigarettes. Uh, Den's YouTube channel has almost 800,000 subscribers. So he's helping push people against vaping. Okay, good. His Twitter has over 80,000 followers, and he's appeared in videos with several celebrities, according to the FDA. So they're smart. The FDA understands that teens are not going to necessarily connect with the FDA. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who wants to connect with that stuffy outfit they're thinking, right? Uh, so they're using this fellow, uh, Julius Den. You've seen him, Katie? Have you seen him? I have, yeah. No, no, I'm trying to Google him on my internet. He's younger. He's about my age. But huge YouTube star. He's got a, a very young following. Is he good? He's very good. He's a magician. He is. I think he also does a lot of like video editing and stuff to help with his magic. But yeah, he's, he's a very good magician. Um, Mr. Den asks this question. Did you know that if you vape, you are more likely to start smoking cigarettes? Apparently, he poses that question in a video. Um, And apparently, he stunned a group of young people after the e-cigarette in uh, one teen's hand disappears Hmm. and is replaced by a traditional cigarette. It's not magic, he says. It's statistics. Apparently, in the commercial, that's what—that's the scene. He turns a vape into a cigarette. Hmm. I'd like to see that. Um. He wears glasses. I don't. Yeah, think so. I see a picture of him. Oh. Julius Den performs a magic trip uh, trick on a vape. And the the title of the uh, com- uh, the title of the commercial is the real cost. Young people's health is put at risk with this vaping business. Uh, the ad campaign seeks to take advantage of modern teens' antipathy towards cigarettes, with just 8.1 percent of high school students reporting that they smoke cigarettes over the previous 30 days in 2018, compared compared to almost 16 percent in 2011. This is according to the CDC. But that decline in traditional cigarette smoking has come back, has come with a increase or uptick in vaping. So apparently teens have an antipathy or dislike for cigarettes, so they're finding an alternative. From 2011 to 2018, the number of high schoolers who reported e-cigarette use in the last 30 days jumped, are you ready, from 1.5% to almost 21 percent my god um dr ned sharpless uh the fda commissioner said quote the troubling epidemic of youth vaping threatens to erase the years of progress we've made combating tobacco use among kids and he went on to say dr sharpless uh, that's an unfortunate name, but nevertheless, and it's imperative that our work to tackle this immensely concerning trend continue to include the efforts to educate our nation's youth about the dangers of these products. Okay. The FDA will distribute posters for high school bathrooms in the upcoming school year with anti-vaping messages. They're going after this. I'm glad. You're listening to Let's Talk Nutrition and watching it coast to coast and globally.
3 combines immune-boosting nutrients with aged garlic extract. Aged garlic extract has been clinically shown to support a healthy immune response and reduce both the duration and severity of cold and flu symptoms. Help me protect you with Kyolic supplements and nutritional drink mixes to fortify your immune health today. Available at fine natural health retailers. The science of psychology tells us there is a connection between looking more attractive and having more self-confidence. One way to look more attractive is to have healthy looking hair. Ridgecrest Herbal's award-winning Hair Revive can support healthy, attractive hair. Hair Revive is formulated with a stress-fighting complex, hair growth ingredients, a hormone balancing complex, and Chinese herbs. Taken together, the ingredients in Hair Revive promote hair growth, encourage healthier, thicker looking hair, and support recovery from damaging hairstyling techniques, harsh chemicals, and daily stress. So start looking more attractive with healthier, thicker, and shinier hair with Ridgecrest Herbals Hair Revive. Visit rcherbals.com for more information or call 1-800-242-4649 and mention this ad. That's 1-800-242-4649. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Want to get at the core issues that make weight loss so difficult? Try PGX from Natural Factors. This revolutionary product is clinically shown to help people achieve their ideal body weight in a safe, natural way. PGX helps you feel full for hours, dramatically reduces the glycemic index of any food or meal, and ultimately causes the release of the compounds that achieve two important goals in weight loss. One, telling your brain that you're satisfied so you eat less, and two, improving the action of the hormone insulin. As medical doctor Mark Hyman said in his best-selling book, Eat Fat, Get Thin, if you choose to use only one supplement, PGX is the most important. If you've ever tried to lose weight and failed, you need the tremendous support of PGX from Natural Factors. For more information on making your weight loss dream a near effortless reality, visit PGX.com. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Gargo. Uh, there are a... There are so many variables that float around in the ether that over which we have no control that will have an impact on our health. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition, coast to coast and globally. We, um, I often talk about this, and the environment uh, is, uh, is one giant variable constituted of thousands of others that some t uh, many of which we are aware of that can have an impact on health. We certainly know that pollution of one sort or another uh, is a big factor. And when the term environment is used in a, at least two ways here, one to refer to the, the environment itself, you know, everything that, that constitutes the trees, the whatever. And then 
Other times, the word environment is used to make a reference to anything that is outside of the body, on the outside, which would include everything. When, oftentimes, the environment, they're, they're talking about the earth, the, <clears throat> the air, the water, and so on. But another way to, when we say, for example, most cancers are environmentally caused, uh, sometimes it gets misconstrued and people think, um, the actual physical environment. That, what that means is that there, it could be food, for example. That would be environmental when it's used in that context. So just so we're clear in our terms. With that in mind, uh, there is a, a, t a town in California, and uh, it's called Ripon, I R. R-I-P-O-N, Ripon, California. And uh, the parents in that town are very concerned. And they're looking for answers related to um, seven cases of children being diagnosed with cancer in the past four years. Earlier this year, that's reported on, I'm giving attribution to CBS here, they fought to remove, the, 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 the community fought to remove cell phone tower, a cell phone tower that was located near an elementary school campus. Now, apparently that didn't solve the problem, so now they're focusing on a chemical in the drinking water supply that's linked to cancer. So in this sense, environmental, means that something is in the environment, in this case, in the water, that could be correlated with these seven youngsters getting cancer. And Ripon is just one, CBS reports, of a dozen cities across the country dealing uh, with the possibly, a possibly harmful chemical. A, um, a Kelly Kelly Prime, a mother whose son, Kyle, is one of at least seven kids in Ripon, said, until we figure out what is happening in this town, we won't stop. Prime and another mother successfully had the cell phone tower removed and have since shifted to focus uh, on the drinking water, on the drinking water. There's an important point embedded in what I just said, and that is this. Uh, parents have a tremendous amount of influence when they put their mind to it to influence local politicians and businesses and, and government generally, state government and federal government to do things to make, to correct uh, terrible conditions in the community or something that could be threatening the health of the community. And Ms. Prime said that my gut tells me that something is here that's causing these issues. Uh, know this, interesting sidebar, Ripon, California was a place that where at one time there was a Nestle plant that used trichochloroethylene, or TCE, to decaffeinate coffee until the 1970s. Nestle discharged the plant's wastewater into the city's sewers, it's being reported. Trichloroethylene was recently found in one of the five city drinking water wells. Now, <laughs> thousands of chemicals, thousands of them, are in the environment, being tens of thousands, and metric tons of these chemicals annually it dumped into the environment, into the water, into the soil, into the air, and with grave consequences. And so here you have this little town. It's a small community. You got seven kids contract cancer. They're trying to figure it out. The parents are, are just uh, upset totally dedicated to try and resolve this problem. Now, Nestle gets implicated because they were using this chemical TCE to decaffeinate coffee, dumped it into the water. You know, you think, oh, it just washes away. 
No, it doesn't. The city of Ripon said that the TC, TCE levels reported 90% of, e, of the EPA maximum allowed in drinking water last summer. So it must have a built up uh, um, an inventory of this chemical in the, in the water and in, somehow into the wells. The well was turned off for four months later. The city says the water, quote, meets all established drinking water standards. And Nestle said that for more than 30 years, the company has implemented cleanup and water protection measures to ensure levels do not exceed California standards, close quote. Well, apparently, apparently, that doesn't seem to be working. Come back, I'll tell you a little bit more, and there are some other stories that you'll find of interest, including dinosaurs. It's not addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order, to find out where to find Hepanol in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at WHNZ.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos, and iHeartRadio Station. Hey friends, this is Frank Cotto, the host of the Business Happy Hour. Myself, Ryan Pelkey, and Doug Ford will be live every Wednesday at 11 a.m. We're the number one show for business and entrepreneurship in Tampa, so tune in every Wednesday on 1250, live at 11 a.m. News on 1250 WHNZ. Lifeguards on Clearwater Beach are speaking out after a terrifying lightning strike on Sunday. Eight people were injured after the bolt struck the beach. It was closed about 15 minutes before the bolt hit. But lifeguard Donovan Burns tells News Channel 8 in Tampa people didn't listen. You'll hear whistles and you'll see us flagging you all the water. And we always advise you once we close the water to go ahead and, and leave the beach. One man remains hospitalized. Tropical Depression 3 is located off the coast of West Palm Beach, but it's expected to head northeast and not become a storm. But it could dump heavy rain along the east coast of Florida. Four people were saved by the Coast Guard when their boat started taking on water near Marathon. That came after four others were pulled from the water when their boat capsized off Key Colony Beach. With Florida's News, I'm Chris Trankman. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Auto Loans Traffic Center. Wreck in Tampa being cleared on eastbound Bush Boulevard just east of Dale Mabry. Also delays in Clearwater on southbound US-19, anywhere south of Sunset Point to Bel Air. Had a crash off to the left-hand side there. And a crash on Bay Pines Boulevard near 94th Street. This one affecting the southeastbound direction. See traffic problems called the injury firm. Abrahamson, you know, the Killsboro traffic tip line, 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by VisitERTampaBay.com. Life is unpredictable. So when an emergency happens, you need a team you can trust. From pediatric care to heart attacks and strokes, their ER experts are ready to help. When every second counts, trust the ER experts at Advent Health. Pros do it right by having what you need for any job on hand, so you're spending more time on the job site than away from it. Lowe's is here to help by stocking job lot quantities of treated lumber, fencing, and decking, and at the right prices. Get volume savings on your next job at the Pro Desk, or save time by ordering at Lowe'sforPros.com. Have your order delivered, or pick it up in store. Our dedicated pro loaders will load you up and get you back to the job site when you're needed most. Do it right for less. Start with Lowe's, U.S. only.
Napa know-how. Right now, Avalanche AC Refrigerant is on sale for $19.99. And because it's military month at Napa, every purchase of Avalanche AC Refrigerant and other select products will benefit the Intrepid Fallen Heroes Fund. So support the troops and your ride and pick up Avalanche AC Refrigerant for $19.99. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores, while supplies last. Offer ends 7 31 19 from the 1250 WHNZ Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center. Rely on Rude. Your Tampa Bay forecast, partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, high 89. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 79. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with a 60% rain chance, high 87. For more news, weather and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete, 105.9 in Tampa, or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. This report is sponsored by Discover Home Equity Loans. Make home improvements or consolidate debt with a home equity loan from Discover Bank. NMLS ID 684042. Save with zero application fees, zero appraisal fees, and zero cash due at closing. Learn more at discoverhomeequityloans.com. Mark Levin is now on 1250 WHNC. I think the president is standing up to the growing anti-Semitism in the Democrat Party, the growing anti-Americanism in the Democrat Party. You may not agree with everything he says or the way he says it, but he's trying to stand up to it, unlike the New York Times in the 1930s, which refused to make a big issue of the extermination of the European Jews. Hear Mark Levin, weeknights at 7 on 1250 WHNC. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skin care authority. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Hey, welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, new guest today on the show, Robert Dabb uh, with Flora, educator for Flora. Uh, before I bring Robert on, I wanted just to uh, wind, uh, put a button on that story that I'm reporting on out of Ripon, California. Apparently, seven children have uh, been diagnosed with cancer, and the parents in that community are trying to figure out what the cause is. One of the suspects is a chemical, uh, trichloroethylene, which is, um, was, was used by Nestle, uh, years ago, back in the 70s, uh, until the 70s, to decaffeinate coffee. And then they dumped, um, I don't know how much, of that compound into the water. So here we are, many decades later, and there is some suspicion, that's not unfounded, by the way, that it could be this TCE. Now, millions of pounds of TCE are used every year for manufacturing and degreasing. They still use that chemical. The chemical uh, migrates from industrial sites into surrounding communities. And how does it do that? It does that through the soil. It does that through the water. And even can turn into a clear, odorless vapor that can then move up into the homes and on a, uh, to the, you know, out of the awareness of the people living in those homes. So um, if you want to know more about this, um, CBS has been covering this story. You can visit their website. I'll track this and see where it goes. This is yet another example of how the environment can be toxic and we get sick and don't even understand that oftentimes it can be connected to something in the environment. And then people are looking for explanations, think, well, maybe it's genetic, and they find no family history of a particular disease. Maybe it's cancer, whatever. And they're puzzled. They say, how did I get sick? And oftentimes you can look to the environment to find the cause. So I wanted to bring that to our attention Again, raising our consciousness about that. And it's hard to um, marshal the interest of people on this topic because it, 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 as concrete as it is, it's abstract. 
And this is stuff that happens to other people. People think. No, this is stuff that can happen to you and can happen to me. Actually, it's happening to one of our listening audiences in Pottstown, PA. Um, Michael writes in that it's near a nuclear power plant, and there's a TCE problem and other can- child cancers up there. So, there you go. This is what, this is, and you don't hear much of this on the 6 o'clock news or the 11 o'clock news at night, right? No. Once in a while, even on CNN, which, and all those cable networks, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, and others, you don't hear it all that much. As a, as a society, we should be very concerned, deeply concerned. I'm just saying. As I said, um, we have a new guest today, Gary. We do. Robert Dad. And uh, with Flora. So let's see. Let's talk to Robert. We've never met Robert before. Robert, welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. It's great to have you on, Robert. Hey, good morning, Michael. Thanks for having me on the show. It's, it's our pleasure. Uh, so um, you're an educator for Florida. You, uh, Flora, you work for the company, I presume, yes? I do, yeah. I joined yeah. them back in 2006. Oh, so you've been there for a while. And, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty well. yeah you, uh, okay. And are you in sales, marketing? Uh, what aspect of the company? I, I work in the product information department, so we're sort oh. of part of the marketing department. Oh, good. Product information department. So do you have consumers that will call your department? We do. Yeah, we get a lot of emails and calls from consumers directly. Uh, you, uh, Flora has some wonderful um, products. I know you wanted to talk about uh, Manuka honey today, right? Manuka honey? Yeah, it's definitely um, a topic on our mind lately. It's one of the new, new products that we brought in from New Zealand. Yeah, I haven't, you know, over the years, I uh, haven't talked too much about it. Um, so, th- in many circles, it's considered a specialty item. Um, so, if that's the case, what's what's so special about Manuka honey compared to other kinds of honey? Right. Well, that's, that's the thing that people ask a lot first, because they look at the price tag and get a bit of sticker shock and wonder. I know. <laughs> you can pick up you can pick up a container of Manuka honey, it can be like thirty dollars, forty dollars, right? Right. So it's not something you just want to spread on toast necessarily. Um, but it's more of a medicinal honey. So the the reason why it costs so much is because it only comes from really one place in the world, which is New Zealand. There's a little bit in Australia, um, but it comes from a specific Manuka bush called Leptospermum scoparium, hmm. and it flowers once a year for four weeks, and that's it. So there's huge demand that's just increased over the years um, for it, and so that's really why it costs so much. And there's even issues that have happened in the market with counterfeit honey, adulterated honey, pretending to be Manuka. So the real thing does cost quite a bit. Okay, so to answer your question, what's unique about it? is that it has a few ingredients that other honeys don't, and that, those ingredients give it medicinal properties that it has. Okay, so uh, Manuka, it's a type of honey, it's native to New Zealand, I've, I've, I believe you said, right? Right, yeah. Okay. We get ours from the northern island of New Zealand. Okay, and it's produced by the bees who pollinate the, the, the flower, this plant, uh, what was it? Leptospermium scoparium. Cool. My Latin is yeah. My, yeah, my Latin's horrible. Uh, <laughs> co- commonly known as a manuka bush. I can deal with that. Um, yeah. And uh, all kinds of claims are made about the compounds in the honey that it's antiviral, anti-inflammatory, it has antioxidant mm-hmm. uh, properties, and so on. Is has much of that? Is that just? Uh, mythical, or is that has any basis in science? What's your take on that? Uh, it does have a basis in science. Yeah, those those compounds um, are what the honey grades, uh, where those grades come from. So our honey is graded according to the UMF rating system, which is uh, it's sort of a third party international uh, grading system that's been around for quite a while since the, the late nineties, and it measures certain compounds in the honey. Um, Leptospirin is one, 
um, DHA is another, and that's, it's, it's not uh, omega-3 DHA, but a different one, and then MGO, which is methylglyoxal. So those are the three unique compounds that make up the grading system for the honey. Yeah, I'm familiar with methyl uh, 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 gloxal, uh active ingredient. Isn't that supposed to have antibacterial effects? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So when we come one. back, we'll talk about these these different claims made about manuka honey. Uh, I'm sure the audience is quite aware, and uh, the point that Mr. Dad makes about it being expensive, it can be, and as you understand, uh, the reason why now. just be the greatest discovery of our generation and it comes from a plant that is not so new agricultural hemp yes after 70 years of prohibition and misunderstanding hemp is back to help you stay healthy and balanced growing research is showing that we have a lot to learn from the remarkable hemp plant nutrient-rich products like plus CBD oils total plant complex concentrated products provide broad-spectrum nutrition including fatty acids plant sterols cannabinoids terpenes and naturally occurring vitamin E from seed to shelf all plus CBD oil products provide the highest quality hemp derived CBD products available and are offered in a variety of delivery systems and flavors to suit your needs ask your local independent health food store about plus CBD oil products by CB sciences today and learn more about the CBD evolution at pluscbdoil.com. That's pluscbdoil.com. Did you know that you have three brains? Yes, you heard right. Exciting new research reveals you have three brains, your head brain, your heart brain, and your gut brain. These three brains are like an orchestra with billions of neurons working together to create a harmonic symphony. This intricate relationship between these three brains impacts your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Three Brain Supplements from Natural Factors is a bold new innovation in mental health. It provides a whole body approach to balance brain health and well-being. Start with the Three Brains Total Kit, which includes five supplements that are essential for three brain health. The kit provides foundational support for all three of your brains. Then, depending on your unique needs, choose from higher thoughts to enhance brain performance, mental sunshine for healthy mood balance, serene mind to relieve stress-related fatigue, or the best sleep for restful sleep. Learn more at threebrainshealth.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. 
competitors. Prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindisccountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. So, um, <laughs> in the world of natural health, if you will, or a lack of a better way to put it, uh, people are always searching uh, for things that are unique, and um, and when when it comes to food, uh, oftentimes there's a lot of mythology that will surround a particular food, and sometimes uh, you'll f and the mythology stems from perhaps the food uh, being associated or claimed to have particular medicinal properties. <clears throat> And long before we had science as we know it today, and all the techniques of science, uh, people learned about these foods by trial and error. And, and in all the cultures around the world for thousands and thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, uh, people tried to figure out what to eat, what would kill them, what would help them. And independent, what's so remarkable, that independent of one another, these cultures figured out that certain foods did certain things to people in a good way or in a bad way. And it all gets recorded. And that's called the food culture. Turns out that honey, <laughs> generally, uh, there's a lot of mythology that surrounds honey, the food honey. In particular, manuka honey. And I haven't talked much about uh, Manuka honey over the years on the show. It's come up once in a while, time and again. Uh, so I'm glad that our guest today, who is Robert. De How do you say your last name, Robert? <laughs> uh, Dad, just just like it sounds, yeah. Just like Dad, spelled with two yeah. Ds. Uh, Robert spelled Dad, uh, who's an educator. Uh, well, he's he's with product information, consumer relations, whatever at Flora. Which is good because he's, you know, he, he, he gets that contact with the consumer. I like that. And I'll ask him about that. And uh, so Flora has a Manuka honey product. Now, many of you go into a store and you're buy, you want to buy honey, let's say a health store, and you start looking through the aisle and then you come to that section where they have the honeys. And then you're going down and then you come to Manuka honey and you, and you look at the price tag and you think that's a typo. No, <laughs> it's not a typo. Uh, it is that expensive. I've seen jars of Manuka honey as much as fifty, sixty dollars uh, a jar. It, and people say, "What's so special about that honey?" And that's why Robert's here today. So I'm glad you chose to to talk about this. You you introduced a theme that would be meaningful. Uh, I have a zillion questions here, and uh, okay. So, um, let me ask you on a personal level, um, if you, do you, I mean, when you look at all the different honey choices that you can make, uh, do you think that Manuka honey in that, in a sense, is really different from all the other honeys, given what you know? It is, yeah. It's definitely different because of the ingredients that it has that other honeys don't. Um, and why? And, and is it? It's not something that the bees did, but it's something that's in the plant, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's something that's unique to that manuka flower and what the plant has. 
And so when the bees do what they do with the flower and, and, and create that, and create that um, honey, those chemical compounds get trans... The, the bees pick that all up, I'm presuming, right? Yeah, it's in the nectar. Um, and then it gets measured and tested. And they actually age the honey. So the longer that this honey is aged for, the stronger its properties become. So they'll measure and they'll ex look explain the that. Uh, what do you mean? Um, so the bees go to the flowering, the, the plant that you mentioned. They harvest the nectar and take it back to the hive. The longer that it's in the hive, you're saying, the more potentiated it becomes? Uh, not in the hive, but once the honey is collected from the hive, uh, okay. then they'll measure the compounds in it, and they'll find what they're looking for is the amount of DHA, for example, that's in it, and then that, over time, converts into that MGO that we were talking about, and that's those are the key ingredients in there. So the price goes up the stronger the honey is, the more MGO is in there. And so you'll find sort of a range between anywhere from 20 to $70. And those are at the sort of spread of what the different grades might cost. Okay, so we had a, the point that you're making here about the grades, we had a question about that. Sometimes uh, when people buy the Manuka honey, Robert, as, as you know, it'll say on the, on the jar or on the bottle, on the container, whatever, five plus... 10 plus, 15 plus, 20 plus. What does, is that, is that referring to this concept of aging and, poten and, and um, how potentiated, if you will, the honey is? Is that, is that what that is? It, it depends. Uh, it might be. That's probably the number one thing that consumers are most confused about is the grading system. And then second is what does the honey do? But the grading system, so MGO is the one that uh, increases with time. So if it's graded according to the MGO content, then that's, that's what it's referring to, is um, the amount of MGO that's in there, and that's the one that increases over time. So for example, with the flora honeys, we've got anywhere from 100 MGO all the way up to 515 MGO. And that, that's the, you'd have to look for on the label where it actually says MGO and then a number. Yeah, he's referring to methylglaxol uh, MGO content and, um, okay, I'm just trying to understand this. The bees don't know from MGO 5 plus, 10 plus, 20 plus. They're just, hard, they're just, they're just doing the nectar job, right? They're doing what nature designed them to do. Um, they take the nectar back to the hive, and then eventually uh, beekeepers harvest that honey. Mm -hmm. okay. Does the MG get... does the MGO go up as the honey ages? Is that what you're suggesting? It does, yeah. So you'll get varying amounts of those compounds in the nectar, and then they'll test for them, and they'll look for how much MGO is in it, and they'll look for how much DHA is in it, and then there's that third one I mentioned, leptospirin, so, which helps to so it's highly it, so it's highly variable. In other words, um, you, could, you could have um, one hive that could have, you know, it, it, has its, it has its content, and then another hive, and it could be the amount of the, the, amount of the, the DHA, the MGO, could be different in both hives, right? It varies a little bit. I mean, you can think of it the way that if you eat an orange, you might have a certain amount of vitamin C in one orange and then a uh, okay. of vitamin C in another orange, like that idea. All right. So my, my producers have some questions. We're headed into some messages. He's getting, uh, he's getting questions over the Internet. I'm just trying to sort this out. We've never done this before on the show, so you're laying the foundation, okay? No pressure, Robert. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll talk more about Manuka honey. This is good. This is good stuff.
supplement in North America. Floravital provides all the same benefits as Floradix, but without gluten or yeast. Reclaim your energy with Floradix and Floravital, available at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. Florahealth.com forward slash Floradix. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at YerbaPrima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. The proceeding was a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The Rays play on Tampa Bay Sports Radio, WDAE. To the wall, let's go! Catch every pitch of Rays baseball in Pasco on 96.7 FM and all over Tampa Bay on 620 AM. Rays up. All the good stuff. Yeah. Rufio keeps you on top of pop culture. The Spice Girls could soon be headed to Las Vegas. Sources say the British pop group could have their own residency in Vegas, which could earn them over $12.5 million each. The sources add the six-week residency would take place in summer of 2021. The news comes as the Spice Girls are having a successful comeback tour in the UK. $12.5 million each. If I was Posh Spice, I'd be begging to come back. All right. And that's what's poppin'. I'm Rufio on iHeartRadio. 1250 wins WHNZ Tampa. 1250 wins WHNZ. 1250 wins WHNZ Tampa Bay. Available everywhere you want to listen on our free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. This is CBS News on the Hour. Real news, real reporting. I'm Peter King. By this time tomorrow, Britain's conservative Brexit backer Boris Johnson will likely have moved into 10 Downing Street. Boris Johnson is elected as the leader of the conservative... His election as conservative party leader means the flamboyant Boris Johnson automatically becomes British Prime Minister tomorrow. Johnson telling his fellow conservatives... I say to all the doubters, dude, we are going to energize the country. We're going to get Brexit done on October the 31st. We're going to take advantage of all the opportunities that it will bring in a new spirit of can do and we are once again going to believe in ourselves and what we can achieve and if that sounds a lot like make britain great again well johnson has expressed admiration for president trump vicky barker cbs news london and the president has congratulated johnson in a tweet saying that he'll be great for great britain so has iran's foreign minister while his country holds a British tanker that it captured last week. CBS News confirms that Puerto Rican prosecutors have executed search warrants to seize the cell phones used in a homophobic, obscene, and generally offensive text chat by 11 government officials, including Governor Ricardo Rosseo. Another day of protests turned violent last night. CBS's David Begno is in San Juan. Tear gas was first deployed by police around 11 p.m., and that sent protesters running. The Puerto Rico Police Department resorted to force after plastic water bottles were continuously thrown at them. But just a few troublemakers ended up ruining the night for a majority of peaceful people. We you spoke to Elliot Rivera about why one, he's here protesting. Group. Just Puerto Ricans fighting for our right. What will it take for congressional Democrats to get new information from Russia's special counsel Robert Mueller when he testifies tomorrow? CBS's Paula Reed has some possible answers. You're going to hear a lot of yes, 
No, I direct you to page 134 of volume two. That's why for these lawmakers, it's all about the questions. That's how they're gonna get their point across. They need to pack their questions mm -hmm. with whatever facts they wanna highlight, because really all they're gonna get is a yes no. Congressional leaders in the White House have agreed on a new budget that avoids a government shutdown, but it comes with a big price tag. Here's CBS's Weijia Jiang. Deficit hawks say the U.S. debt around $22 trillion is a real concern, arguing future generations will pay the price. Now, the president, Republicans, and Democrats have all railed against the debt in the past, but it no longer seems to be a major issue for anyone, at least for now. Now, the administration says it's expanding and speeding up deportations of migrants who entered the U.S. illegally, cutting the time sometimes to days rather than months or years. The Dow is up 75. This is CBS News. CBS News Radio is your home for breaking news. With our team of reporters around the country and the world, we give you the coverage you can trust. Ever wonder why Europeans seem to speak so many languages? Maybe it's because they use Babbel, the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Babbel's award-winning technology gets you speaking right away, whether you're learning Spanish, French, or German. And best of all, you'll remember what you've learned. I always thought I was bad at languages, but after using Babbel, I can tell you I was just taught the wrong way. Using Babbel's 10 to 15 minute lessons, you can be speaking confidently in your new language within weeks. I was amazed that I could start having real life conversations right away. It was so fast. Now I'm speaking Spanish. Woohoo! <laughs> No wonder Babbel is the number one selling language learning app in Europe. Try it for yourself and see why Babbel is the quick way to get conversational in a new language, like Spanish, French, or more. You can try Babbel for free. Go to Babbel.com or download the app and try it for free. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, or download the app to try it for free. That's Babbel.com. All the good stuff. Yeah. Rufio keeps you on top of pop culture. In movie news, Avengers Endgame finally slipped past Avatar to become the highest grossing movie of all time worldwide. Endgame has made $2.79 billion globally, surpassing the $2.7897 billion that Avatar made 10 years ago. Endgame will finish a distant second domestically behind Star Wars The Force Awakens. Endgame has made $854.2 million in the U.S., while The Force Awakens is at $900. 36.7 million dollars. All right, and that's what's popping. I'm Rufio on iHeartRadio. Let's Talk Nutrition is streaming on your Amazon Echo device. Just say, Alexa, play 1250 WHNZ from iHeartRadio. Section 275 is very slow from I-4 right to just past Dale Mabry because of an accident blocking three right lanes. Westbound I-4 is also very slow from the Selma Connector into 275 and northbound 275 is slowing on the eastbound east end of the Howard Franklin Bridge. Have work at Missouri and Rosary. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Edward Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Discover Home Equity Loans. Make home improvements or consolidate debt with a home equity loan from Discover Bank and MLS ID 684042. Save with zero application fees, zero appraisal fees, and zero cash due at closing. Learn more at discoverhomeequityloans.com. The following is a commercial program paid for by Let's Talk Nutrition, LLC. The opinions, viewpoints, and promises made during the following program are not those of WHNZ AM, its staff, management, or parent company, iHeartMedia Incorporated. Statements made during this broadcast regarding products or the claims made about specific products have not been evaluated by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Products and treatments discussed are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. Make your physician aware of all nutritional supplements used and immediately notify your physician if you have any health concern or undiagnosed sign or symptom. Let's Talk Nutrition is a health talk show that features scientists, authors, nutrition specialists, personal trainers, holistic healers, and experts in traditional, natural, and integrative medicine. Listen for a chance to win daily prizes and follow Let's Talk Nutrition on Facebook and Instagram at Let's Talk Nutrition or on Twitter at LTN Radio. It's time for some inspiration. Tune in to get fit and healthy. It's time to talk about nutrition. Nutrition for your body, your mind, your spirit. It's time to talk about proper exercise, stress 
stress relief, eating well, and supplementation to help. Get ready to take charge of your health because your health is your wealth and the wealth of those who care about and love you. It's time for Let's Talk Nutrition with Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome to the show. Okay, and we're back. I was trying to get connected. I had my headset disconnected. We're all good. You know, high tech. <laughs> Just trying to get the headset work. Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. If you joined us in the first hour, we were doing, um, I was, we title these um, hours, and we, I'll, I'll let Gary and uh, Katie explain to you, and I'm always worried about does the title of what we're putting up out on the internet reflect what we're talking about? You got to be, I'm very sensitive to that. And I was trying to, we're trying to come up with titles in this first, in the first hour we were talking about what is Manuka honey? And that's an interesting question. You know, what exactly is it? It, it, there's the, the problem here with Manuka honey is it's an information problem. Consumers get confused. They walk into a health store or a, a store, a Whole Foods, a, a Sprouts, or wherever, Kroger's if they sell it, and they're trying to buy some honey. Now, one of their friends said, you know, you got to get some of that Manuka honey. It's supposed to be really good. And they walk into the store, and then like our guest today, Robert Dad said, there's sticker shock associated with it. It's very expensive. And Robert was explaining why. And I'll have him re sort of review that. And then we were talking about the grading system for Manuka honey that has a grading system. You walk in, you'll, you'll look on the jar, and they'll say 5 plus, 10 plus, 20 plus. What does that mean? Right? Why is it so expensive? What's the grading system? What can I expect when I take this product? Now, I can tell you that Manuka honey has a unique taste. It doesn't taste like the you know, regular honey. It is really distinctive. I, I want to ask uh, Robert about that. It's the chemicals. It's always about the chemistry, right? And so this is a very unique uh, theme. We, I have not devoted a full show, this is the first time in 14 years, to Manuka honey. First time. So we're sort of laying the groundwork. Robert, welcome back. I wanted to bring you on right away. Um, we're trying to lay the foundation here. It's sort of like a primer on Manuka Honey so that I, we can refer people back to this show uh, if they want to ask questions about it. And um, the, um, the grading system that is used, does the grading, the grading system refer to all of the, the strength of the, all of the, com all the compounds, that the medicinal compounds or properties found in the plant or in the honey, rather? Yep, you got it. Uh, they take into account all three, so they're measuring for those three we were talking about, and then that makes up the EMF rating. So they, um, the combined effect of all of those together, and our honeys have a rating of EMF and then also an MGO content listed on it. So we, we went with both rating systems just because it gives a little bit more info to the consumer, and those are the two most common ones, and they're independent third-party ones, so we didn't just make these up ourselves. Um, so that's, that's really why we went with it. And, and UMF, just for those who are listening, that's unique Manuka factor. Um, it's a rating system that's a third party, internationally recognized one. It's been around since the late 90s. And that's the number you'll see on there where it says UMF anywhere from uh, 30 plus, or sorry, uh, 15 plus is the strongest, and then down to 5 plus. So what's, what's, the rate, what's, the what's the strongest rate? What's the strongest rating you can get? For, for our four one, 15 plus UMF, that's the strongest one. I've seen uh, bottles with 20 plus on them. You can get stronger ones of UMF, yeah. Um, it gets really, really expensive once you get up into 20. I uh, bet. 20 is about the highest that I've heard of. It's so like a mortgage payment. Probably, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably close to $100 or more. Oh, jeez. Um, depending, depending on the size of the bottle. Yeah, that's when you really lick the spoon. 
let's yeah, go to let's go, <laughs> let's go to Clarksville, Georgia. There's a store there called A to Zinc, and somewhere in there, there's a letter M from Anuka. Rafino, welcome to the show. It's great to have you on. Hey, Doc. Good to be on. Yeah, I carry all of Florence Manuka, honey. And I will tell you, uh, people come in with really bad cough, and it does have healing properties. It heals the throat. It heals. I have toothpaste with Manuka, honey. But the Flora Blend, uh, it's incredible as far as open bed sores. If you've got people that are in bed all the time or hurting or sick, they have sores. The healing properties of the Manuka honey, I could tell you, I have seen miracles with this stuff, and it's incredible, and Florida does a really good job at it. So you are you suggesting that people have put this on topically as a topical treatment? Yes, absolutely. I do it all the time, Doc, here at the store, and it's, it's, it's help, it helps open wounds, and it's just, it's just incredible, and I think he, the guests could talk why that happens, but it does stuff the regular honey just doesn't do, and I... And it is it is like forty dollars a jar. It starts at eighteen. I start at eighteen, nineteen bucks, and mine goes about forty one dollars a jar for the NVO two fifty. But that's retail through Florida. You know, we don't add prices on top, man. That's just retail. But it is more expensive. But there's a reason. Uh, Katie was whispering something in my ear. What did you say, Katie? A caller actually had called and wanted to know that if it was safe to use internally, if you could put it on a skin. He wanted to know. So that. it's both. To- so you've had. Uh, you've had customers that have used it topically, Rafino. Yes, sir, I have. Uh, yeah, a lot of times, and mostly with, oh, my dad's getting older, he's stuck in bed, he's not feeling well, he's got bed sores, and we, we use that with, with some silver. It's sometimes, too, we, get, we go back and forth with silver also, which really helps. But Manuka honey does have healing properties internally and externally. It is an amazing different kind of honey. It really is. Robert, um have companies used manuka honey in cosmetics in cosmetic products uh, they have yeah it's um, even something that people would make sort of a face mask for um, they'll mix it with other ingredients and then put it on their their face to help with uh, skin quality it's got hydrating properties that way and can help with things like acne or rosacea Katie's shaking her head <laughs> yeah uh, I like face masks you like you do yeah <laughs> and I'll tell you, Doc, also, um, the cough. If you have a really persistent cough that won't go away, three times a day with a spoonful of this honey, I will tell you, the coughs go away, it heals the throat, it heals the mouth, you have mouth sores, open wounds after, like, dental surgery or having an issue with your gums. Manuka honey is completely different than your local honey. It does. It is, it is that these healing properties are just insane. So I'm all for it, and we do sell the floor brand here at A to Drink. And I'll tell you, I'm proud to sell it. It's amazing stuff. So I just wanted to chime in. Oh, no. Thank you. I'm sure Robert appreciates that, too. Always appreciate your contribution, uh, Rafino. You, you, and that's what we encourage health stories. That's why we encourage uh, health stories to call the show to share this kind of knowledge. Eight seven seven eight nine seven eight two five five. Thank you, Rufino. You always uh, you always make a useful contribution. There you go. There you go, Robert. Uh, your product is sold in Clarksville, Georgia. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, this is this is intriguing stuff. Uh, the Manuka honey is distinctive in its flavor, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It has. Um it's hard to describe, but it is hard. It I was I was hoping you could because I can't. <laughs> I'll, I'll try. I'll try. It, it has a little bit more of a, a medicinal kind of taste, but there's a sweetness obviously because it's honey. So it it reminds me almost like a little bit menthol mentally or euca- eucalyptus. Eucalyptus, like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, let me ask you this: as you move up the grading system, does the taste change? It will taste stronger, so it'll have a little bit more of what I was hinting at with that sort of um, um, eucalyptus sort of taste to it. That that comes through a lot more if you get one of the stronger ones, like a, a 515 MGO 15 UMF. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, you know, how does it taste? Well, <laughs> you got to try it. <laughs> You'll find out how it tastes. Flora's Manuka Honey, sold in fine health stores throughout the United States, including in Clarksville, Georgia. One of the best health stores around uh, from A to Zinc. You are listening to Let's Talk Nutrition featuring Robert Dad and his uh, primer on Manuka Honey.
nine. Is getting a good night's sleep a challenge? Fortunately, there's a superior fast-acting sleep formula called Tranquil Sleep from Natural Factors. This non-habit-forming supplement contains a unique combination of melatonin, 5-HTP, and L-theanine, which works in harmony with your body's natural sleep hormones. Tranquil Sleep can help you fall asleep, stay asleep, sleep sounder, and wake up refreshed, all without feeling drowsy in the morning. The key benefit comes from increasing the time spent in the deeper stages of sleep. It's only in these deeper levels of sleep that we truly experience the rejuvenation, regeneration, and recuperation that sleep provides. Even if you think you get a good night's sleep, give Tranquil Sleep a try. You might be surprised with how much better you've slept by waking up with more energy and enthusiasm to start your day. Learn more at naturalfactors.com. This is Dr. Michael Garka, host of the nationally syndicated health talk show, Let's Talk Nutrition. Way too often, dietary supplements cost way too much. Not so at Vitamin Discount Center. Here's why. BDC sells leading national brands up to 50% off MSRP every day. Competitors' prices are matched for identical products with proof of price. If you're in the military or are a first responder, you get an additional 10% off BDC's already discounted prices. BDC even offers case discounts. And you can get connected with BDC's VIP mobile text program for additional savings and customer rewards throughout the month. The choice is clear. You can save at Vitamin Discount Center. For a store nearest you, visit vitamindiscountcenter.com or call 813-907-7066. That's 813-907-7066. Vitamin Discount Center. For life, for less. Celsius is a fitness drink which is clinically proven to function. How? As a thermogenic Celsius proprietary MetaPlus blend accelerates metabolism, increasing your body's ability to burn fat and calories. There are only two ways a body burns fat through increased heart rate or increased body temperature. Thermogenesis. Drinking Celsius and then going into motion is double dipping. You're accelerating the burn and the results are even faster. Celsius is your ultimate fitness partner. No high fructose corn syrup, no aspartame, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors. 100% of seven essential vitamins. Proven in six published university studies. How does it work? Celsius proprietary MetaPlus formula, including green tea with EGCS, ginger, and guana seed, turns on thermogenesis, a the process that boosts your body's metabolic rate. Drinking Celsius prior to fitness activities is proven to energize, accelerate metabolism, burn body fat, and calories. Invest in yourself. Drink Celsius. Look for us at www.celsius.com. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by CV Sciences, from seed to shelf. Form Essentials, makers of the sleep aid Solace. North American Herb and Spice, wellness for life. Natural Factors, where great health begins. New chapter, the benefit of nature's wisdom. Yerba Prima, pioneers in internal cleansing. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Gargo. Welcome back. Welcome to Let's Talk Nutrition. We're doing a little, uh, today, a little primer uh, tutorial on Manuka honey. So, uh, this is all good. I, um, I just have an email just came in. Let me check my mail. Uh, guessing perhaps Manuka not good is if there is a candida concern. Uh, I have a, Robert, welcome back. I had a uh, listener, uh, Wanting to know if manuka was okay to take if you have a if you have candida. Um, if if we have some sort of systemic candida infection, I don't want to hold off just because it, it does have sugar in it. Um, so maybe wait until we can get that cleared up. Right. Okay. Good enough. That it's more it's more antiviral, antibacterial than than it is antifungal. Okay. Good enough. Good answer. Um, this is this is int it is interesting. Um, so what we know is that it comes from New Zealand. The plant um, only flowers what two to six weeks per year. It blooms. Uh, 
Right, yeah. Just just once a year for that period of time in that one country. Um, so that's why that's part of the reason why it's so expensive. So, so the, year. Come on, the beekeepers are as busy as bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually use helicopters to fly the hives around to different locations oh. to kind of maximize the, the harvest. So, see, those are interesting details. Um, as I, I've never, have you been to New Zealand? No, it's on my bucket list to go, but I haven't been there yet. Okay, so as I understand it, it it's a the, the the terrain is very. You'd have you have the uh, rugged, uh, rugged central North Island volcanic plateau. Uh, you got uh, th- there's the the hills that are uh, clad with bushes. Um, so you have different regions where it's not it's the the plant doesn't grow in just one region of New Zealand. It grows in these varied and different in uh, in um, uh, geogra- uh, ecological environments, right? Geological environments, for that matter. Um, from from what I understand, it's mostly on the North Island. So that's the okay, North jungle, the Northland the tropical one. Okay. Yeah. And we we're, we're actually partnered with uh, a Maori group there called the Oluku Maori Lands Trust, and they own the land in that northern area, and then they're the ones who who do the beekeeping. I see. So, oh boy, and I suspect that there's um, a lot of ritual and reverence associated with this plant, if I had to guess, in terms of the natives that, you know, that live there. Yeah, yeah, the Maori have been using it traditionally for, for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Other parts of the plant than just the honey as well. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, this, is, this is good stuff. Um, so, the flora... On the in the flora uh, product, is it you just sell one grade of manuka, or do you have different grades? No, we've got different grades. So there's an introductory one if people just want to just want to try it out and and see what it's all about, and it's not you know the the most expensive one, um, and that is a, a thirty plus NGO, and that'll run anywhere from about eighteen to twenty dollars maybe, and then it goes all the way up from there to. Uh, a 515 plus NGO and a 15 plus UMF, so that's that's the strongest one. So there's I mean, there's some in, intermediate ones too. So all in all, there's uh, two, three, four, there's five different options in terms of grading. Okay, so let me ask you this question: One of the most natural things that people do with honey is they'll add it to tea, for example, hot tea. When you add yeah. when you add the manuka honey to tea. Do you break down the compounds to hot tea? That's a great question. Um, What I would suggest doing, because yes, potentially you do, um, some of them, some of the enzymes and things. So I would suggest if you're going to add it to tea or coffee, wait until it's cooled down a little bit, Ah. just warm enough that you want to drink it, and then then add the honey. Don't add it in when you've just poured boiling water into your teacup or something. So the the honey, you got... Enzymes in there. You got propolis. You got amino acids. You said DHA. DHA is a fat. So yeah, it's not the DHA omega three that we know. It actually stands for dihydroxyacetone. So it's a different a, D- DHA. a different DHA. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's the one that turns into MGO over over time as it ages. The it seems to me, given my background and training. Um, and I'm, I'm now, you know, I would never claim to be a chemist, but in a biochemistry, uh, what one of the one of the takeaways for me has always been the elegance of enzymes. Uh, that's without the enzymes, things become very compromised uh, in terms of their medicinal potential. I suspect that would be the same here with manuka honey, right? Uh, the enzymes are, are good for sure. They're um, they're mostly coming from the bees, so the bees use the enzyme to convert um, the nectar into into honey and and sort of transform some of the sugars and things. The the MGO and, and the DHA and the lactosferin, those unique compounds, those are um, a little bit hardier than enzymes, so they won't break down and degrade in quite, quite the same way. So those those are a bit stronger and more resilient. Those compounds and those are the ones that the gradings based on. 
You're listening to Robert Dad. He's associated with uh, Flora, 877-897-8255 in product information. The, the, when, when consumers uh, call the company and they, they inquire about Manuka Honey, they have questions or comments. Uh, can you share some of the common themes that have emerged over the years? Uh, think about that when we come back, and then we'll, we can talk. I'm, I'm curious as to what consumer, what's on consumers' minds when it comes to the product. Mm-hmm. When we come back, we'll, we'll ask Robert to break that down thematically, and then we'll have the LTN health question of the day when we come back. Uh, it'll have something to do with Manuka honey, of course. And you already, I probably already have given the answer, as I typically try to do. Robert Dot from Flora, Coast to Coast and Globally on LTN today. It's non-addictive, completely natural, and leaves you feeling energetic and ready to take on the day. To place your order, to find out where to find Happenall in your area, call 1-800-243-5242. 800-243-5242. Or visit us at oregano.com. 1250 WHNZ. Online at WHNZ.com. On your phone with the iHeartRadio app. And on hundreds of devices like Alexa, Google Home, Xbox, and Sonos. And iHeartRadio station. Hi, it's Schmidt. Join Robert Harwood from the Harwood Financial Group and me for a daily blueprint for your finances. A topical radio show that helps put you on the right track financially. Win at retirement right after the Schmidt Show weekdays, 6.06 p.m. on 1250 WHNZ. News on 1250 WHNZ. Lifeguards say beachgoers on Clearwater Beach didn't heed the warnings to leave despite thunderstorms developing overhead. Eight people were injured after lightning struck the beach Sunday afternoon. Lifeguard Donovan Burns tells News Channel 8 in Tampa. You'll hear whistles and you'll see us flagging you out of the water and we always advise you once we close the water to go ahead and, and leave the beach. One of the victims remains hospitalized. A note left with an abandoned baby in Orlando says the boy's dad tried to kill the infant and the mother. Police are still looking for the mom who could face charges for not leaving the baby in a designated safe haven. Tropical Depression 3 continues moving away from Florida towards the northeast, but it's expected to dump heavy rain on the east coast and not develop into a tropical storm. With Florida's news, I'm Chris Trankman. From the 1250 WHNZ Florida Central Auto Loans Traffic Center. Southbound 275 has a crash past Dale Mobley blocking three right lanes. Traffic is backing up all the way past I-4 toward Florabraska, and westbound I-4 is solid from the Selman connector into 275. There's a wreck at Morris Bridge and Mandrake Road and an accident on 34th Street at 55th Avenue North. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson and Edward Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line at 866-545-9595. This report is sponsored by Discover Home Equity Loans. Make home improvements or consolidate debt with a home equity loan from appraisal fees and zero cash due at closing. Learn more at discoverhomeequityloans.com. Welcome back to CarMax Will Buy It. Let's jump right back into the action. A used minivan with two truss super poly grip so he can enjoy his steak with full confidence. <laughs> Sounds like there's a party going on. But something's missing. <laughs> the birthday gals arrived. And thanks to Polydent, her bright smile is anything but a surprise. Polydent! From the 1250 WHNZ Rude Air Conditioning Weather Center. Rely on Rude. Your Tampa Bay forecast. Partly cloudy with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. High 89. Tonight, partly cloudy. Low 79. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds with a 60% rain chance. High 87. For more news, weather and traffic, tune to WFLA at 94.5 in St. Pete. 105.9 in Tampa. Or 99.1 in Newport Ritchie. 
This report is sponsored by Discover Home Equity Loans. Make home improvements or consolidate debt with a home equity loan from Discover Bank, NMLS ID 684042. Save with zero application fees, zero appraisal fees, and zero cash due at closing. Learn more at discoverhomeequityloans.com. Mark Levin is now on 1250 WHNC. So I'm a little confused here because I thought Obamacare was so bad that they needed to replace it with Medicare for all. Didn't they? Don't they? We need single payer because Obamacare is not cutting it. So even though Obamacare went a long way in destroying the private health care system, it didn't destroy it enough. So now we need Medicare for all. That is, destroy Medicare. Here, Mark Levin, weeknights at 7 on 1250 WHNC. Let's Talk Nutrition is brought to you by American Biotech Labs, your daily immune system support. Ridgecrest Herbals, take your health to a higher elevation. Ancient Nutrition, nutrition for a modern world. Reviva Labs, the natural skincare authority. Let's Talk Nutrition, on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Okay, and so we'll serve up the LTN health question of the day. Uh, We gave the answer, Robert gave it several times. And I alluded to it as well. Uh, when it comes to Manuka honey, where is it harvested primarily? Where Where is it harvested? Manuka honey. New Zealand, New Guinea, or New Mexico? There you go. With the right answer, you want a $25 supplement gift card. And uh, then you can go to, if you win, you can go to your local health store and get some of the flora Manuka honey, quality honey. Uh, I was telling Gary that I always have kept a jar of Manuka, of Manuka honey in uh, in my cabinet in the kitchen. Uh, lately, I, now that I we're talking about, it, I realized I don't have it there. Uh, I've always had it around. And the one question I've always was concerned about. Robert answered it. Was if you if you add add the Manuka honey to hot tea, will you? Um, diminish the effectiveness of the compounds, you know, like the antioxidants, the enzymes. And he suggested that perhaps not to add it to real hot tea, maybe let it maybe warm, but nevertheless. Uh, Gary will give you the number to call. 877-897-8255. That's 877-897-TALK. Let's go to Tampa, Florida. Dell, welcome to the show. Uh, have you ever consumed Manuka honey? I have a container of it, and I've just never opened it. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> open it up and give it. A, open it up and give it a try. It. You don't want to waste it. Like I said, you have. No. If you're using a spoon, make sure you look it pretty good because it's expensive. Um, oh yeah, I don't think I'd ever take it out of my mouth. <laughs> you had a question you wanted to ask, Robert? Yes, it seems like an entrepreneur jump on something like this. Can't that plant? Uh, be grown in another other parts of the world to get the uh, you know like something could be done. There's, that's a good question. Available. That's a good question. Uh, so Robert, you know, Dell's asking does the, does the plant grow in other parts of the world? Uh, as far as I know, it only grows in New Zealand and then a little bit in Australia as well. So it seems to like that part of the world. Uh, I don't know how well it would do if it got transplanted and, and grown in other climates and other soils. But, yeah, this well, that sure is sounds like something. What's that, Dell? That sure looks like something somebody ought to do. Well, I don't know. I mean, you have certain, certain plants will only grow in certain environments. and certain They're indigenous to a particular geographical loca- location. That's not unusual. Um, some humans are like that, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Reason, uh, the reason why I asked you about the different regions, Robert, where the plant could be grown, because as you well know, I'm sure in your training, uh, you learned that as these plants live in these different environments, they adapt, and the chemicals that are in the plants help them to cope with the stressors that exist in any particular environment, whether it's insects, bugs, you know, uh, uh, viruses, bacteria, weather. Um, and that's why I was asking about the terrain in which the plant was grown and, and how varied it is in New Zealand. Right. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're so some of the compounds that plants produce, just like you said, they're they're reacting to things in their environment and producing them as a result. And sometimes when plants are stressed, they even produce more of those. And then those are the ones that um like methylglyoxal, for example, from the nuca that then have some benefits for people. I see. I wonder if anybody's really looked into that to the point of, okay, let's really look into this and see if we can't do some of that uh, recreation of any... Well, uh, maybe they have, you know, um, it it sounds to me like there's a lot, not only, um, there's biology involved in here, um, the biology of that plant. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just wondering. I have, I, I confess, I have not researched that uh, and looked into that, but I suspect that that it's probably indigenous to that part of the world. I don't know if it'll do well in other climates. I just don't know. New Zealand is a uh, very. We'll just have to uh, tie a rope on New Zealand and pull it up here. Yeah, there you go. Well, open the jar before the ex- expiration date runs out. On <laughs> open up your manuka honey, man. You bought it. Use it. No, no, no. Wait, honey does boil. <laughs> There, sh- there shouldn't be an expiration date on it. Well, right? let me ask. Let me ask uh, Robert that when you op- once you open the the jar, the container, Robert, uh, do you have to put it in a refrigerator? Is it sensitive to to the the elements of the uh, of the house or wherever you have it? No, you don't have to refrigerate it. Just uh, in the cupboard or just room temperature is fine for it. Um, and it, it doesn't really go bad. I mean, by law, we have to put a, a best before date on it. Yes. Um, but really, honey will last for a long, long time. And actually, your caller, um, he's, he's aging his, <laughs> he's aging his honey. So it might actually get a little bit stronger, which is what I was talking about with the nuca before. Okay. The MGO increases over time. So make it a little bit stronger if you last it even. Sort of like oh, wine. Gee, that'd be yeah. Okay, Del. <laughs> okay, Del. Use your <laughs> use your honey, man. Thank you for your questions. Yes, indeed, as I recall, they always never spoil. Okay, I'm with Thank you. you. I've, I, you're welcome. Let's go to St. Petersburg, Florida. David, you had a question. Yeah, they found intact honey in the pyramids. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't. That I didn't know. I can't even comment on that. But did you have something about manuka yeah. oil? Yes. Now, uh, if I'm not, I think m- m- maybe manuka honey is where the bees go to the tree, manuka tree. I don't know, but I, I heard it's 33 times stronger than uh, tea tree oil on your skin. So, what is what's the base? Can you take it internally? Well, tree? let me ask. Let's ask Robert about that. Is what about? Is there such a thing as manuka oil, Robert? Uh, yeah, I've heard of manuka oil. The, the tree produces oil as well. Oh, so that okay, so. You're, yeah, David, you got... I have I have the oil. So is the oil from the tree or is the oil from the honey? The oil's from the tree. Yeah. The oil is from the tree. What do you use it for? Well, I had something on my finger or something that wouldn't go away once. And Did it work? Put, yeah, when I put that on it. It worked. You know. So so the oil's from the tree and the honey is the bees pollinating or doing something. Right, they're, the they're, they're harvesting the nectar, right. Exactly. Like cousins or something. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a beautiful plant. I was looking at the flower. Um, I went to your uh, Facebook page. Is that a fl- is that the manuka flower on your Facebook page, Robert? On Florence Facebook page. I think uh, was it was. I think it was on your Facebook page. Uh, there's a flowering plant there. It's white. Oh, on my personal one. No, that's not. That's uh, that's a uh, flower from Hawaii. But no, that's not the manuka one. Okay. You take manuka oil in a pill. Manuka flower is white as well. What's that, David? You take manuka oil in a pill or a capsule, or is that? I don't know. I don't know much about manuka oil. Is it? Can you take manuka oil internally, Robert? If you know. I, I'm not not honestly sure. We don't uh, at Florida. We don't have manuka oil. Yeah, um, not I'm not sure, David. I'm not even. Manuka, manuka honey pill capsules and or royal jelly manuka royal. Any of that capsules or pills or anything like that? I'll ask him when we come back. Uh, we have one more segment to go with Robert Dad on LTN today.
Have you experienced the wisdom of nature with Zyflamend Whole Body from New Chapter? Zyflamend is a 10 herb blend that delivers three health benefits. First, Zyflamend is an herbal approach to pain relief, helping to soothe minor pain or soreness. Second, Zyflamend is a joint supplement with time-tested herbs to support joint function and flexibility. And the third benefit, Zyflamend supports the body's healthy inflammation response, something that's essential for maintaining whole body health. Zyflamend is New Chapter's clinically tested blend of 10 remarkable herbs, including pure and potent, turmeric, ginger, and green tea. Zyflamend is non-GMO, project verified, gluten-free, and 100% vegetarian. New Chapter is a leader in supplement quality. Every ingredient, every product, every time. Discover Zyflamend, New Chapter's number one selling multi-herbal. Zyflamend is made with ginger for occasional pain relief after exercise. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. The ever-increasing stress and toxicity we are exposed to from our environment, diets, and lifestyles make internal cleansing a necessary part of a good health regimen. Founded in 1980, Yerba Prima was the first company to launch a whole-body internal cleansing kit. Since that time, they have continued to develop and manufacture a complete range of all-natural, high-quality fiber and internal cleansing products. By using all-natural psyllium fiber and no harmful stimulant laxatives, all Yerba Prima fiber and internal cleansing products can be used over a long period of time to ensure optimal health and regularity. With nearly 30 years dedicated to all-natural cleansing products, it's easy to see why Yerba Prima is a leader in the fiber and cleansing products category. Learn more at yerbaprima.com, Y-E-R-B-A-P-R-I-M-A.com, or visit your local health retailer. Yerba Prima, pioneer in internal cleansing products. Have you been putting off a cleanse? They can be harsh and leave you chained to the toilet, making for an overall unpleasant experience. Rethink your cleanse with Fluorescence, a daily cleanse that helps safely and gently detoxify your body. Unlike other detoxes that can be hard on the body, Fluorescence supports your body's natural processes, helping it to work more efficiently than it could on its own. The truth is your body is really good at cleansing, but due to the number of toxins we're exposed to, it can use a little daily support. Inspired by traditional Obajue formula, Fluorescence is made with eight herbs, burdock root, watercress, sheep sorrel herb, slippery elm, rhubarb root, kelp, blessed thistle, and red clover blossom. These herbs work together to support multiple elimination pathways, gently helping your body's detox systems do what they were made to do, only better. Forget harsh extreme cleanses and cleanse happy. Try fluorescence for gentle daily cleansing that leaves you feeling rejuvenated. Find fluorescence at your local health food store. For more information, visit florahealth.com. Feel tired, lethargic, or irritable? Take solace. You're one of millions of Americans that has trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. In fact, according to a national survey, 54% of adults have trouble sleeping. So what can you do about it? Take Solace. Solace is an all-natural dietary supplement formulated to support healthy sleep and relaxation. Solace can help you fall asleep and stay asleep naturally. Formulated with all-natural ingredients, Solace is non-addictive and won't leave you feeling groggy in the morning. Take Solace an hour before bed and feel the calming effect of this extensively researched sleep and relaxation aid. For more information on Solace, call toll-free 877-533-7066 or visit takesolace.com. That's 877-533-7066 or take solus.com. Look for Solace in your local health and nutrition store. Solace for a good night's rest naturally. Talk Nutrition is brought to you by Jaro Formulas, superior nutrition and formulation. Natural factors where great health begins. Kyolic, aging makes the finest garlic truly odorless. Celsius, live fit. Flora, 100 years of herbal wisdom. Let's Talk Nutrition on the web at letstalknutrition.com. We're back from the break, so let's rejoin Dr. Michael Garko. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk Nutrition. Uh, I've been talking with Robert Dad today about, we invited the whole show. It's sort of like a, a little tutorial on Manuka honey, only because um, I have not really talked about it in depth like this. 
I've learned a number of things today. One of the things I, I, I was doing a little bit of research on it, it's a monofloral honey. Uh, what that means is that Manuka honey is, uh, is monofloral in that the bees that make it, uh, that gather nectar from the plant, uh, mo they do it from mostly one type of plant, which is the Manuka plant. Uh, Leptosperum scop scoparium, I believe that's how you pronounce it in Latin. Uh, such is the case with Manuka honey. It's an indigenous use. Uh, Robert, how do you say the, the name of the indigenous people of New, uh, New Zealand is Maori? How do you say that? Uh, I'll probably mispronounce it compared to the way that they would say it, but Maori. Maori. Uh, they, they, of course, they were aware in, of the medicinal properties of this plant. Um, the labeling we learned, uh, is this true or false, Robert? In order to be called Manuka honey, it must contain, the, the product must contain at least 70% of its pollen from the Manuka plant? Um, no, not necessarily. Po pollen by itself is not enough to, to prove that it's authentic Manuka. Um, it's one test. And actually, New Zealand has been really concerned about counterfeit Manuka. That was my next question. That was my next yeah, question. Two-thirds of the Manuka on the market is either counterfeit or adulterated. Did so you say two? Why, did you say two-thirds? Yeah, upwards to two-thirds. How does the consumer know then? Well, exactly. That's one of the things um, that's of concern when you're purchasing it, and that's why for us, what we did was we put a traceability system. So on every jar. People can use their smartphone, and there's a, an NFC tag on the label, and they can scan it with their smartphone, and it will show them information about their specific jar. So where did it come from? What were the lab test results like? They'll see the UMF grading certification. So it just gives them a little bit more confidence that they're getting the real thing when they're spending. Wow. that That is an interesting... Um, so... <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of counterfeit product on the market when you think about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so New Zealand is doing what they can to protect it um, by implementing testing that they require as well. So besides all this UMF and geo grading that we were talking about for for the jars, New Zealand government also has their own tests in order to export. You're supposed to go through these different tests and get it to, you know, rubber stamped as, as being authentic Manuka as well. So they're doing what they can to try to cut down on, on that because they want to, of course, protect the Manuka name um, and make sure that people are getting the benefits that they should be. So Flora has gone out of its way to make sure that the consumer is receiving an authentic, uh, high-grade Manuka, Manuka honey product, yes? Right. That, that was one of the most important things when we set about launching the product is giving people confidence that they're getting the real Manuka because it is expensive. Who is NZ? N uh, NZ probably stands for New Zealand. Okay. Okay. You're New Zealand partners. I, I, I was trying to figure out what you were trying to get at there. Um, so you're, you're pr how long has Flora sold Manuka honey? Uh, we launched it last year. Okay, because I, you know, I'm pretty familiar with Flora products, and I, and I, I didn't recall. Uh, I'm a fan of Flora, um, and I, I think the company does a, a great job, and their products are, are are unique and have interesting. Some of them have very interesting stories behind them. Um, so you you partner with a particular company in New Zealand, yes? Right. Yeah, it's the Oluku Maori Lands Trust. So it's a group there who are on the Northern Island, and they actually share in the profits from the Manuka sales and then feed that, some of that back into the community. So they've got scholarships for, for students and um, put that back into, everyone actually gets a share of it. Um, so that's the group that we chose to work with. Okay. Um, the owner of Flora went uh, and visited them, so he actually went to New Zealand to see it and met them. and. Uh, and then it just took off from there. That, that's that's good. That, that's a nice that's a nice um, social responsibility feature here. That's mm -hmm. very nice, mm -hmm. very good. Well, we enjoyed having you on. Thank you for uh, with for your patience and my questions. Um, I would just I try to ask questions that you know the consumer would ask. Everyday people ask. I'm an everyday person just like you. 
Uh, what do we want to know? We haven't, you know, this is the first time we really devote, put a big spotlight on Manuka honey. I'm glad that you chose to feature that product from Flora. Uh, Flora's Manuka honey sold in fine health stores throughout the United States. I know for sure it's in Clarksville, Georgia, because it's in uh, Rafino Pato's store, which I mean, that guy doesn't miss a trick, man. You know, Gary? He's on. He's dialed in. Honest to goodness. Um, the people of that community ought to be grateful to having a, a, an owner such as uh, Rafino doing, doing that, you know, uh, making that available to people. Um, yeah, and we invite all health stores, and we try to encourage you, you know, listener, if you have a health store, you c please let them know that they can call the show just like uh, Rafino does and others and uh, to ask questions or make comments. And, you know, Rafino talked about the product in the store, and I, I didn't know the product was used topically until he brought it up. So, Robert, thank you so much for being on today. You were a good guest. Uh, please t let everybody at Flora know that uh, we appreciate them and their, and their sponsorship of the show. My pleasure. Yeah, thanks so much. All right, man. Take care of yourself, and we'll, get, we'll catch you the next time. Yeah, you too. Take care. All right, man. So this was good. Uh, we, we all learned something today, right? Yeah, I had no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know about Manuka honey? I didn't even know Manuka honey was a thing. There you go. So Never what, even heard of it. So how long you been on, how long you been with the show now? Time's flying by. We're probably on like three months now. Maybe has, not. Ha, I don't. Has it been three months? Has it? I don't know. That's a good. Pretty question. much. Maybe. Maybe. At least two. At least two. Yeah. Uh, a little different from the other show that you do, right? A tad bit. I learn way more here about things that actually matter. <laughs> I mean, I learn a lot of information wherever I am, but it's always usually useless information. Uh, share with the audience. I, I told uh, Gary I wanted to do this. Uh, you you have a, like a little thing that you do uh, besides this show, right? I do. It's called Florida Things. You can find it on Facebook. Search the Florida Things. I basically just go around the state and highlight different things people may not know exist. Florida, it's fun. Florida Thing on Facebook. That, Florida Things. That's yeah, me. That's Katie. So, and then there's Gary here. He does his thing every day, too. Make sure that we uh, get that stream up onto the screen and out there into the world. Thank you for tuning in today. We love you. Your health is your wealth. Your health is the wealth of those that care about and love you.